How many of us spend more than we make and then wonder, where did all the money go? As part of our book author series, Betty Kincaid is here with us this morning to tell us more about her book, Control Your Cash. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks, Thanks for, for having oh, me. I'm thrilled you're here because I can hear my husband at home. Control the money, Christy. And I'm thinking, ooh, I did bad this month. And you know, putting all the jokes aside, you know what I loved about this book? First, I have to tell you, I've read a lot of books about money and investing. This one was just so practical, told in a very easy manner. You get that a lot? Yeah, we do. And I'm thankful, thank you for saying that, because we really tried hard to get rid of all the jargon and all the stuff that's over so many people's heads and just say, look, here's what you have to do to be successful. Forget even successful. Here's what you have to do just to save some money at the end of the month exactly. so you can do something with it. Keep it easy. Keep it real easy. And that's what you did. This is it. And it's really, it's practical because you also just break it down into the necessities that people need in their lives. You know, the stock market, the buying the car, the house, the, the important things. Yeah, we tried. Actually, the progression of the book should match the progression of your life, which is, you know, your very first savings account when uh, grandma and grandpa gives you that $20 maybe if you have a really uh, generous grandma and grandpa for your birthday, uh, all the way up to that final dream of entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about the first big one here, credit cards. Yes. You've got great advice for credit cards, and everybody please listen up because it's great advice. Go ahead. Well, our big advice, and it's going to be hard for a lot of people, <laughs> which is never carry a balance. That is what is killing most people. If you look at your own personal financial situation and you look at, at where you're putting money out the door, it's your credit card. Use those banks, use those credit card companies, take their frequent flyer miles, take all their, their little perks and benefits, and let all those other people carrying balances pay the bill. Exactly. But don't carry a balance. And you have a great graphic to show our viewers. Talk to me about these numbers and tell me exactly what we're seeing here. Yeah, uh, so we worry so much about um, inflation and what inflation is going to do for us. So the first graph shows us what a dollar in 40 years at 3% inflation, it will cost you or it will, you would have to pay for a dollar, it's worth $3.26. So what you would pay for a dollar today, it would cost you $3.26 in 40 years at 3% inflation. Uh -huh. Well, on credit cards, you're at 18% conservatively. A lot of credit cards are more than 18%. So if you charge a dollar on your credit card today, at the end of 40 years, that dollar is $750.38. That is craziness. Ooh. That's crazy. So forget it. Forget it. And many people are putting their living expenses yeah. on their credit cards. Yeah. So point made, point taken. <laughs> okay. Now let's talk about a car. I mean, it's an essential unless, you know, you live in New York City, but getting a car. Let's yeah. talk about the do's and don'ts. Yeah. And a car is usually the first asset that a person acquires in their life. Uh, if they do it right, it's an asset. So one of the things we talk about in our book is not to buy a liability which would be a lease. Don't lease a car. I always lease. I know. I hear lots of professional people say that. We can write it off. Oh, don't make buying decisions based on the tax aspect of it. Ba buy it based on the wealth aspect of it. A lease is, here's, here's what a lease is. You get to pay every month for the privilege of later buying a used car. <laughs> <laughs> that does not make any sense to me. So every month I'm going to make a payment, and later on you might let me buy my own used car? Wow, what a deal. <laughs> All right, so forget that idea. <laughs> Just buy buy a car, get the best deal you can, buy used if you know if you can. A car is not a status symbol. A car is a tool, okay. just like anything else. But what if you like to just get rid of it every three years? Well, if you buy right. You know, if you buy it right, then when you sell it in three years, you're not upside down. There you go. That's a good point. Okay. What about a person's dream of buying a home? That's a big, big one. It is a big one. And unfortunately, now, a lot of people feel that either, A, the dream has been exploded or imploded, yep. uh, or they feel that, that it's never going to happen for them. But I think making uh, lemonade out of lemons, I think now is the best time to buy a home. Prices are lower than they've ever been, and interest rates are lower than they've ever been. And the combination of those two make this the perfect time to buy a home. 
See, I love the way you talk about this. It's just so easy. It's just to the point. It's in layman terms, love. So the bottom line here, if somebody's out there saying, okay, I want to get organized. I want to control my cash. What would you say? Well, again, simple stuff, stuff that you already know, probably that uh, people have told you before, but it's time now to be a grown up and start doing it. So you need a budget. What am I going to spend? Uh, and hopefully it's what you bring in uh, or less, okay. and we prefer less. You're going to uh, increase your income from as simple as selling junk that's laying around your house to maybe getting a second job to pay off those credit cards. Mm -hmm. um, and then you're going to decrease your expenses. Paying off your credit cards will do that in, in an instant, okay, the minute they're paid off. Then you're going to have money left over at the end of the month, and you're going to start investing that. Once that's done, you just keep doing that over and over again. You'll be amazed at how your wealth will increase. Pretty basic stuff. It is basic. Pretty easy, but you got to get organized to get there. Yeah, it's easy to say, a lot harder to do because it involves discipline. I know, because it, it involves doing the right thing. Yeah. Thank you so much, <laughs> Betty. For I really me. appreciate it. And if you'd like to read Betty's book, Control Your Cash, go to controlyourcash.com.